UK Frog, stand up. Today, we lost Queen Elizabeth. Now, normally, uh, the passing of any human being is not a cause for any sort of levity. However, Twitter did not agree with me. <laughs> Twitter <laughs> immediately trending she's dead and rip bozo <laughs> immediately. Uh, imagine making jokes about the quick, wait, 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 point crow, didn't you? Ding dong, the witch is dead. That's not even. Wait, it just said it when I searched you. Ding dong, the witch is dead. You deleted it. <laughs> you son of a bitch. My heart goes out to all the British people who still don't know because they're waiting to hear it from a guy ringing a bell in the town square. Eddie Burback, a real one. I'm sorry to all my UK frogs out there. This is today on Irish TikTok. Another one bites the dust. That's just disrespectful. Joking about the queen dying is not okay. Whether you like her or not, she was somebody's wife, mother, sister, cousin. This is a very hard day for that one man. <laughs> is it just me or is it like way faster today? Do you know what I'm saying? People were ready. I feel like I feel like the minute it happened, I saw 20 jokes, 20 like well-crafted jokes. We've been, we've been, people had these in the drafts for years. Yeah, I guess. This is this is a real tweet. There was a lot of brand tweets. Heinz UK said everyone at Heinz is deeply saddened by the passing of Queen Elizabeth and offer our sincere like, which is like, OK, I'm always a fan of brands not posting around anything related to this. I think it's always cringe. But then uh, this person, this is not real, but they made a fake Heinz Ireland and said, nah, which I thought was pretty funny. Uh, oh, yeah, this guy. Then there was predictions, dude. September 7th, the queen will not die tomorrow. That's crazy. With the beginning of the meme where he, where she does. How the hell? On August 1st, me and the boys are successfully murdering the Queen Elizabeth on 8th, 8th of September, 2022. To my to any authority that might be interested in my knowledge, I must make it clear this statement is merely comedic prediction. And I have no connections to any cult, religion, organization, or conspiracy. <laughs> That's insane, dude. If you wrote that, I mean, you know what's funny is the person who's been most on this wave is fucking Schlatt, who tweeted 12 hours ago on my way home from the UK, love that place, with a guess, an airline tweet that he had prepared. This is like so much planning for social engagements around the death of the queen. And then he tweeted, RIP Queen Elizabeth. I want to reiterate that it had absolutely nothing to do with this. You guys talk about Dream SP stands being parasocial. Have you seen British people today? <laughs> I guess kind of true. He didn't know her. I legit freaked the fuck out when everyone was saying the queen is dead because I thought they meant Carly Rae Jepsen. Yeah, that would be that would be a true tragedy. Uh, <laughs> the queen after winning in the gulag. <laughs> she's under medical supervention. She's going to die, as you no, know. She's, she's going to be fine. She, yeah, she needs to hold on tight until we're done with paintball so her son can stream it. Yeah. yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> The image of the queen clinging to life with her phone on the table next to her of Hassan open. She can make sure to die when Hassan can stream and make and piss in her grave. <laughs> yes. Are you kidding me? <laughs> the semblance of the she's literally a relic of the monarchy. It's like the it is extremely my shit. Are the dance on her grave unceremoniously. <laughs> um, oh my god! She did die. No, she didn't. <laughs> the royal family's official Twitter account said the queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. The king and queen concert will remain at Balmoral this evening and will return to London tomorrow. It's like a kid on Christmas. Woo, let's go. <laughs> it's like he's, he's so fucking stoked. Lamau. Around the world. But back here at home, we've been waiting a long time. <laughs> to <laughs> no, no way. No way, that's real? That's a great edit if not. <laughs> Damn. Dude, that's like 3-0. USA, Britain. Maybe 201 if you count War of 1812 as a tie. But revolutionary, that's a clean win. And this right here is a clean win. It's not... I don't know. <laughs> Listen, I don't, I, I, I feel like I'm turning into fucking mogul mail here, but it's, <laughs> it's just an old lady dying. It's not, you know what I'm saying? 
Is it, they didn't get rid of the royal family. There's still a royal family in power. Queen Elizabeth really dropped before GTA 6. Let that sink in. <laughs> she, what she should have done is drop before Cyberpunk dropped. So she could always have believed it would have been good. Can't believe they're going to make a man queen. This woke nonsense has gone too far. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, they, they totally took the monarchy and made it political. Because now they're going to get a king. All I want to do is enjoy a family that I don't know or care about receiving a small bit of my money and everyone else's money to live in opulent wealth for all time. I don't want politics involved. Both these musicals, this one about America fighting a monarchy for freedom and this one about a revolution against the monarchy, <laughs> both thought they had to be immediate posters giving condolences to the queen. You know, I'm not saying you have to be in character and be like, yeah, fuck, she's dead. I, yeah, I understand you don't have to do that. But I, what you could do is not tweet because it makes no sense. It is not the point of your fucking play. Standing outside Buckingham Palace with my portable speaker blasting, blasting See You Again by Wiz Khalifa. Uh, well, I wouldn't play the Khalifa version. <laughs> we'll come a long way. Don't. Don't. Let's back, come back to this song, though. First you both go out your way and the vibe is feeling strong and we're small to to a friendship and I'll never get lost. God damn, dude. Real rap died that day. Uh well they move fast. This is a free this is a free tweet for anything now. Anytime any event happens, find a way to shoehorn Spirit Halloween into it and then post it first, and you'll get a hundred thousand likes. I don't know. Elon Musk has another secret kid, and then you'll be like, well, they turn his old house to a spirit Halloween. <laughs> I don't get this one. UK's gotta explain this to me. He just said, nah, clutch points, we seen that. And it's the queen, queen's final farewell. I don't know what clutch points is. They're all UK athletes. <laughs> Wait, it's, it's like a UK based sport website. It's US based. It's a US based. <laughs> Wait, it's a US based website trying to form UK engagement. British people shutting down when the queen does. <laughs> What's <they> doing? <laughs> hey, I'm happy. <laughs> Exquisite. <Exquisite. laughs> the timing doesn't add up, though, right? But you know what? Even if that didn't happen today, that means they have a regular chant about Lizzie's in a box. Is that a regular Irish chant? As the new king of the DC universe, no one feels more pain about losing the queen than me. But a new monarch will be born from the ashes. This isn't real. <laughs> it's very funny. <laughs> With Black Adam on the throne. Let's all raise a glass of Terra Mana for the new king, the man in black. <laughs> in theater, like that were 21st. This is like not far off from what The Rock would like to post. He's got enough PR people around him and he knows that he shouldn't tweet this, but untethered, this is what he would post. For sure. For sure. He's got something like this in drafts. Yeah, for sure. A hundred percent. He's got a draft and he's like trying to get his guy to workshop it. <laughs> he's telling his PR guy, figure it out. Make that work. But that's what I wanted to say. That's the gist. Oh, The Rock has an actual tweet. Let's see what he said. Well, it has been one hell of a Thursday so far. Um, <laughs> certainly for my family. From the moment we woke up this morning, it's just been one of those days. My <laughs> condolences. My... <laughs> this might as well be Rip Bozo. This might is as close as you can get as a celebrity to saying Rip Bozo. Because he started off by saying, just fucking laughing. He's laughing, joking around, talking about a busy day. But giant American flag in the background. It's been one of those days. Uh, but I'm just swooping in really quick. <laughs> it's been one of those days, you know. But anyway, really quick. Uh, sorry about the queen to, or whatever. Um, to stop in and, and send and mana to the royal family during this time in the spirit of the past. <laughs> My mana. <laughs> Speaking of mana, how about we all raise a nice glass of Terra mana? <laughs> What an incredible life. Uh, I've never had the privilege or honor of meeting the queen, but... So don't, don't post! Why does no one... No one... I, people are fucking crazy, dude. Wait, if... Then don't post! 
seven decades, I think, of the longest running monarchy. I think, I'm terrible at math, but I believe it's seven decades and what an impact. <laughs> they should get The Rock to do the eulogy. <laughs> Oh, I'm terrible at math, but she's been around. This old broad's been around six, seven decades. Whoa. <laughs> Not that this is any consolation in any way. I'm just sharing just a perspective that I have is that when I lost my old man uh, two years ago, right before the pandemic hit us, and my old man just, he dropped and he passed away and I never had a chance to say goodbye to him. And I regret that. In their spirit, we have an opportunity to live and live life and live greatly with passion and fervor and positive energy and what this has nothing to do with the timely death of a 96 year old woman of natural causes in a country we never met this has nothing to do with it. it's not that what he said is not related at all that is the type of thing you might say to somebody that you knew in real life it also, it's the British monarch and you have an American flag and country music blast in the background. This is the most insincere. <laughs> also, I, I genuinely, I mean, I feel bad he lost his father. That's very, that's extremely sad, especially because it seems like it happened untimely. But you as a person losing your father who you were close to, and then your multi-millions of dollars, uh, multi-millions of Instagram fans, some of whom maybe knew of the queen, who died of natural causes at 96. It's not even, it's not, how is that relatable? What a life. Stay strong. Please plug your drink. <laughs> what a life, 70 years. And can you believe, can you believe she was taken from us just a few days before she could see Black Adam in theaters on November 21st? Oh yeah, Stan's. <laughs> Stan, Stan's included me in it, unnecessarily. The saddest part of all of this is the queen will never see Atrioc finish Elden Ring. You know, yeah, you know what's funny is neither will you guys though. <laughs> so you guys actually have something in common with Lizzie. Our condolences. What? Wait, this is real. Funko Pop made a Queen Elizabeth Funko Pop in grayscale? Bro, if I died, I would rather have someone scream Rip Bozo then make a fucking Funko Pop memorial. This is more disrespectful. Queen Elizabeth freestyle? I gotta see this. The new queen. <laughs> I'll slip Charles some fake beans. Run off with the crown, sounds tempting. Bloody queen, ignore the Nazis. Winston Churchill, ignore the Nazis. To me, Queen Elizabeth was a thought to. If illness and old age did not get her, I would've caught the body. Queen Elizabeth was not a thoughty. <laughs>